Hi guys, welcome down to Alhambra Golf Club. We're at Ras Al Khaima. So this is around about an hour north of Dubai. And it's myself. Wow, hi. Look at that. Oof, look at the sweat. Myself versus a friend of mine, Stephen Jobson. You might recognize him from a previous match that we played at Sillith Golf Club. So it was England versus Scotland. So Stephen won for Scotland. Um, he's not Scottish. So we're out here today, Ras Al Khaimah. This is the golf course, it's the road to Ras Al Khaimah for the Challenge Tour. So that's the tour below the European Tour. So playing golf here, incredible golf course so far. Currently stands at all square. Jobson just made a beautiful birdie down the last last two. You've just gone back to back as well. Back to I went back to back on two and three. jopo has gone back to two back on three, three and four. And all square. Two under, that's, that's the two under three, four. The standard of night golf, boys and girls. Two under three, four. Oh, all square. It's what we do. This is 320 yard par four. Green, I think, is on the other side of those palms. Yeah, there it is. And we're going for it. We're going big. Oh, he smoked it. Again, took the chicken line a little bit, but uh, I did it a little bit. Yeah, it's a good bailout out in the middle of the club. Awesome well, it was shot. either hit it there with a cut that I didn't mean to do. A little bit in <laughs> or, anyway. Or hit it at the green with a cut and can... end up in flat sea over there. I don't think we can make it slightly into breeze. <laughs> I'm all about the percentages. Head <laughs> <laughs> for the middle and see what happens. But no. That little red light that just came up there, that was my line and it's a long carry 300 yards, man. Oh, that's in a house. He's gone bald. We'll find out when we get there. It took, it took off right. But then again, it's, there's quite a bit of room from when you get here. I think you're all right. Nailed it as well. Well, let's hope so. You can ask uh, Mrs. Little Smith for your ball up here, and Andy is probably Bunker. front of the green high, but flew it all the way, and I'm just front edge here. Well, about, about 30 short of the green. A lot of bunker to carry. Here. But uh, yeah, nice little 50 yarder. Everybody loves one of these. The bunkers here are so consistent, but they're so nippy. Every shot, right? Yeah, they say they're so consistent, but they're just they're, they're rock hard. So frustrating. So that is mine there. So I do love a good bunker shot. I do enjoy the challenge of a bunker shot, but every single one today I've drop kicked into the back of it because there's just no sand, which is something you'd have to get used to if you played it. I'm used to a little bit more. Right, Joppo is massively in the driving seat now, up and down for birdie. We'll pretty much secure the hole. Oops. There it is, apologies, I'm not quite sure why it's... why it didn't focus. Anyway, there he is for two, and birdie pop. Tricky for me, right now. So I'm about five foot. Pitch just kicked a little left. I was quite surprised with a big hill. But then again, you'd have asked me five foot. Yeah, I'd take that. So he's, and he's got a bit of rough, a bit of fringe. Should be able to land it on the green. Sit down. A little bit firm. A 
Lord. I'm lucky, mate. It's good. Ay, 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 ay. Calamity. I think I can concede that one to you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm on a three-whack from here. I think, you can, um, I think you can take the win on that one and go one up. Oh, I didn't move. Brilliant, lost to a par. Oh, <laughs> <I> look. <laughs> New team take two. Uh, <laughs> he was just trying to avoid another 10% on Rolexes. Started right and stayed right, just on that line out there. Par 4, 433 yards. There's a long bump. That bunker up there you can see is the left side of the fairway, so... I need one. Yeah, that wasn't the best. I didn't feel comfortable on that at all. Couldn't really pick a line. Hard when it's dark enough to be able to pinpoint something out. You can't see it. <laughs> that is nailed. Straight at the bunker. It's a big carry. All right, so we're up down the right hand side. You can see how Joppa's parked the buggy there. So at any moment now, it could topple. <laughs> if, we put, if you put an extra club in that bag, it's going to go. Clubs are pointing at me, you know. <laughs> Take one out and they're all gone. How far have you got? Well, it says 176 on there. 176. But... Bushnell's not picking up because it's a little bit too dark. If I just zoom in, because I'm going to have to do that to do my drive. There's mine up there. So I'm a, I've, I've definitely cleared that 280 bunker. Well, at least something's going right today. That's true. I've also had a thin and a, I've had two thins as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, ball above feet, so this will send the ball left, generally, guys, as a rule of thumb. Awkward shot. Oh, he's made pretty decent connection out of there. That should be really good. He likes it. It should be really, really good. Good shot. Plus drive for you, sir. Leaves one one seven. Yeah, I need. I also need a close one. Yeah, I, I haven't seen mine yet, but we can't uh, see it. I, I saw it in the bush. No, you're on the front edge, about twenty-five feet. Nice. Oh, I need to get it to stick. Just my range, that. All over it. Tasty. Just short, maybe front edge. Is it? Yeah, it's good shot straight at it. Um, so we're walking on. All a little short, but I'm quite happy with that lie to be there. On me. Yeah. Yeah, yours just pitched on the fringe, I think, mate. Oh no, it didn't just pitch there. Yeah, it was 117. It's just there. 54, so 117's pretty much Pull out. on the. Uh, Oh, great effort. Oh, 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 it was going in as well. It had the line, take it away. I think the way to play night golf is if you can get it near enough on the light, you've got more of a chance of seeing the shot you've got. Because if you're on the other side of the fairway, it's really hard to see. However, so this is for birdie. Told you it was slow. Battered it. Yeah, I didn't think it was perfect contact. Huh? Ah, you're only two foot, might pick it up. Gentlemen. <laughs> Make it even shorter. So we're still undecided if we're playing two more holes. Are we playing two more? I'm easy. 
I'm mate, good. I can play two more, like. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so we've got three holes to go, guys. I've just been given a lifeline. You have, I wouldn't have given you that foot. Cover's dormy. Wouldn't have given you that foot. Right, so I'm going with a nine, I'm gonna try and cut it. Ooh, he didn't fancy the wedge after all. Oh. Must be getting tired. Yeah. What was it, 140? 140, I think. 140. Oh, now he says, I think. Oh. Oh, Struggling to focus now because it's a bit too dark, but it's gone right bunk here. Yeah. Just started it right, dropped it inside, push sliced it. Trying too much to take enough off that, I should just hit a big wedge, but it, I don't think I can get there with wedge. 140 is a, a very hard one. You got wedge? Yeah. Big boy. It's a good number. That is right at it. Oh, what a shot. Good, yeah? Great oh, shot. Well played, sir. Okay, so up by the green. Joppa didn't go in the bunk. He was just in this um, rough here, just short right of the green. I am around about 20 feet away. He's landed about seven foot and spun back, which is unfortunate. Joppa fancies this. He said, this is holable. Just needed hit him. A little bit more. Good effort, take that. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, I didn't say anything. Wait, wait, it's a good length find. Yeah, that has never been given. <laughs> I mean, it's on camera that you gave it like. No, I said take that take camera that. so I can hit my <laughs> shot. <laughs> Absolutely full of it. All right, so a little bit of a camera issue on the last hole. Joppo held his putt for par and I nearly held my putt for birdie. Well, it wasn't. So, okay, right so there's two extra holes on this course which are flood last hole 17 and 18. So, we've decided, wow, well, we've decided to play those two holes to make it a nine hole vlog. So, this is now the end of part two and we'll see you over in part three. Stay tuned. This is, this is hotting up.